where the black sheep in Nicaragua. When we come over here you now, it's a whole different story. We're black, but we're Latino. You get me what I'm yeah. saying? We're, we're Hispano. Yeah. And it's a, it's a whole different. Oh, you know, that, 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 man, eh? That's good. <laughs> It's okay. I think it's good. Tell them, pay them no man. Right, baby? Mm-hmm. They're saying you sit up some more. I can't sit up no more, baby. This is how I sit. <laughs> <laughs> Never ready. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey guys, it's your girl Amber Gonzalez from the new channel Siempre Ambi TV. I know you guys noticed I've changed my name. So today I have a special friend here with me, mi amigo Chris. Hola, hola, mucho gusto. Mi nombre es Chris. Wait, voy a hacer una entrevista con él and present him to you guys. So, well, first of all, guys, Chris do have a YouTube channel. What is your YouTube channel name? Nika Flow 505. Yeah, I'll put it right here. Nika Flow 505. So, go and support my friend. Make sure you guys subscribe to him. And he does videos in Espanol y Inglés. Yeah, las dos cosas, the two things. <laughs> okay, y de donde eres? Pues, soy originario de Bluefish, Nicaragua, you know, um, vine aquí a La Yusa cuando tenía como 19, 20 años y pues ya llevo 10, 10 años aquí en USA, Tampa, Florida. ¿Te gusta los Estados Unidos mejor que Nicaragua o prefieres vivir en Nicaragua? Uh, eso es fácil de responder. <laughs> Nicaragua. Oh. Nicaragua, Nicaragua, porque, um, no sé, para mí, I, I love my home so much, you know what I'm saying, y creo que si Nicaragua tuviera la, la economía que tiene USA, sí. like, yo no tendría que venir aquí, ¿me entiendes? Exacto, sí. Pero, aún así, yo no estoy alegre de tener la oportunidad de venir aquí, you know, y poder disfrutar también de, de la belleza y pues de otro mundo. Está bien, muy bien. Y también él es rapero, ustedes saben. Danza, music, a Sheldon the place. Sí, sí. I just watched a few of his music videos now um, on YouTube and he's really good. Just, don't thank forget you, thank me, you, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't I forget appreciate. us when you yeah. get out of the sky, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, see, you know, I'm a, I'm a dance artist, so I started doing music when I came here to, to Tampa, Florida. I actually did not know I had the talent to do music. You get me? And it was just like, I remember growing up, me and my brother, we just used to like freestyle, but nothing major. Yeah. And then finally I came here and I tried it out, and ever since I've been doing music, you know. Hey, by the way, go and check out the new hit single, Chiching. He's right out there on YouTube. Yes, I'll link it below as well so you guys yes. can check out the music video, Cha Ching. I like it, I really do. I hope you guys enjoy it too, man. Yes, so, ¿qué piensas de Puerto Rico? Tú sabes que esto está rico. <laughs> <laughs> en Puerto Rico. Hey man, like, um, Puerto Rico está bien, bien chévere, yo. Like, for real, like, lo que me gusta más de Puerto Rico es que me recuerda a Nicaragua. Sí. You know, lo tropical, las montañas, um, las calles, like, algunas partes me recuerdan a la ciudad que es, de, que es Managua y otras partes me recuerdan a Bluefield. Oh, sí. ¿Y tu familia todavía vive en Nicaragua o viven aquí? Pues, mi familia es enorme, man. Like, grande, grande, you know. Um, Pero, yeah. like, tu madre, tu padre. Mi, mi mamá está aquí. Mi mamá está aquí um, en, viviendo en Tampa, Florida. Y mi papá aún está en Bluefields. ¿Tiene hermanos también? Sí, tengo dos, dos hermanas. Um, Krishani acaba de tener un bebé ahí, mi sobrinita. Oh, Shout felicidades. Out. Thank you. Shout out to my sobrinita, you know. And, um, you know, tengo mi otra hermanita, Yaneli, que tiene um, 18 años. Okay, qué bien. Sí. Tiene una familia grande, pues. Pues aquí, aquí no, pero allá en Nicaragua sí. ¿Ellos quieren vivir aquí en Estados Unidos? Ah, yo creo que todos quieren venir aquí, man. You know, si, yo, si yo tuviera la oportunidad de traerlos a todos, los traería. Sí, exactamente. You know. 
pero... Pero en el futuro, ¿tú planeas de regresar a Nicaragua, verdad? Um, a comprar casa... Ese, pues, ese es el plan, y you no know, ese es el plan por ahorita... No. <risa> por ahorita no, nuestro enfoque es ahorita vivir en Puerto Rico, you know, y, y llegar a nuestras metas y... Está bien, y <risa> su... su... Mi está mujer, atrás. mi bebé. Y su mujer está atrás de la cámara. <laughs> pues, I do want to ask you, being here in the United States, like, how do you feel? I'm going to say this part in English, so for those of you guys who don't speak Spanish, but how do people treat you differently, like, in the U.S. versus Nicaragua? Do you think you experience more racism in the States or more Nicaragua? Do people treat you better in the States than Nicaragua? or? I think, um... I think I have get like the only s I have um how you say now I have came across racism like probably in, in both places but right. I think I came across more in Nicaragua. Really? Yes, in Nicaragua, you know, because over here now we're considered Latinos. You get me? And um I think I have a video on my YouTube also, you know, where I talk about stuff like that. Yeah. You get me? And um but I would say Nicaragua experienced more racism because back home we're considered the blacks. You know, we're not yes, we're considered black. You know, we're not considered like like Spanish, you know, like Espanol or lo que sea. That's how we go by it, you know what I'm saying? Right. So we're the black sheep in Nicaragua. When we come over here you now it's a whole different story. We're black but we're Latino. You get me what I'm yeah. saying? We're, we're Hispano. Yeah. And it's a, it's a whole different feeling than just being like, you know, like how the, Afri the, um, the African Americans they feel here. Yeah, exactly. You get me what I'm saying? Because the African Americans they can be like, well, the black, how they treat blacks here. Right. That's how they would treat us black people back home. Uh, oh, so basically you have like privilege yeah. in the States. We, yeah, I got a lot of privilege. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He get his accent, he speaks Spanish. You're like, oh, what's yeah, 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 People be looking confused, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, will, I will have a, like debates, and I will having debates with the Caribbean people, them, especially the, my Jamaican people, them. Like, they were like fight with me, telling me say that I'm probably like from Jamaica or one of them places, them, and then the um. The Spanish people then would be like, but how do you speak English or how do you sound like that? You know what I'm saying? So it would <laughs> be like. But the blacks in Nicaragua talk like you. Exactly like me. Yeah. Or probably worse than me. <laughs> you get me? I've been here. So, but you know what is crazy is that when I go to Nicaragua, they don't hear me with an the accent. They hear me like if I'm American now, Americanized. Really? Yes. You guys hear you guys hear an accent, you know what I'm saying? And for me I feel like I'm speaking like you guys, perfect English. You get me? But when I'm in Nicaragua no, and I talk to people they'll be like, Why why is you Yanksin? I'll be like, Why you mean Yanksin? They'll be like, you know, you can speak like your regular, you know, Creole English and stuff. Yeah. But I am speaking my Creole English, they'll be like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like in tu opinión, tu piensas que es más fácil para para obtener un trabajo en Nicaragua ahora porque uh, tú eres um, americanized. Sí, la like, ciudadano. Sí, por like, americano. Oh, no, yo no soy ciudadano, yo soy un residente aún. Oh, you know, okay, like, sí. Tengo el privilegio de sacar mi ciudadanía, pero no he querido, you know, porque like, no quiero vender mi patria, you know. Quiero ser nicaragüense, you know. Sí. Like, muy dentro siempre he sido nicaragüense y voy a seguir siendo nicaragüense, pero, like, no. ¿Cuál tipo de videos hacen en tu canal en YouTube? Pues en, you know, like, básicamente mi video en YouTube se trata de, like, mi vida personal, you know what I'm saying, hombre de familia, Artista. Mm -hmm. A mí me gusta hacer sonreír a la gente, you know, me, ese, like, me hace sentir bien a mí. Básicamente, mi aventura, mi journey hacia, like, el suceso, you sí. know, el suceso. You hear that Spanglish? I hope you all hear that Spanglish. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, aquí en Puerto Rico hablan mucho Spanglish. Pues así, así hablamos los latinos. Yo no sé si, si nos olvidamos de algo en inglés, lo vamos a decir en español. Exacto. If we forget something in Spanish, then we're going to say it in English. Sí, es así. How do you feel like when, uh, when Latinos, they, I mean, because 
they don't know that you're Latino until no. mm-hmm. until you speak Spanish. They're like, yeah. oh, like do they assume you're from like Panama or Cuba? Like, um, I don't think I have gotten Cuban before, you know, <laughs> but what I get come across, like I have come across the air, you yeah. know, then they would think that I'm um, from Dominican Republic or Trinidad, Jamaica, mm-hmm. places like that, you know, but I haven't gotten Cuban yet. Wow. But people be like really surprised, man, like, oh, you speak Spanish? Yeah. I do. Yeah, when you learn Spanish, I like on our first date, they like they were like, um, we went to a Spanish restaurant and he was ordering our food in Spanish, and they were like, um, where did you learn your Spanish from? And he's like, I'm Nicaraguan. <laughs> like, <laughs> because you know, I've never met Nicaraguan people in person. Me either. Um, only one girl, this Nicaraguan girl, braided my hair. Ella hizo mis trenzas hace cinco años, y, mm-hmm. um, pero ella era una blanca, pero ella es de Nicaragua. So you're like the first black Nicaraguan. I've met black Hondurians, but they're like Garifuna. I met black Guatemaltecos from Guatemala. Um, obviously black Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, yeah. but Nicaraguan, this is a first for me. Yeah, well, where we, we rear then. We from Bluefy, so we rear. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I say? But there is different places like across, not only in Bluefy, it's like, you know, you got Carn Island, Lagoon, you got, um, you got Orinoco, you got Puerto Cabeza, you got all them places them that speak probably just like me too, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like I know that some of them speak like we and on top of that they got them still got them one indigenous language. That oh. I don't speak. See. Okay. What? You know, so. Well, it's been such a pleasure having you on the channel today. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me here, man. This is amazing. Yes, we're gonna do some more videos, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to Chris's channel. I'm going to have it right here in the description box and in the comment section. Yes. And eso es todo. Muchas gracias por venir. Hey, muchas gracias a ti por invitarme, you know. Sí, sí. <laughs> Adios, guys. Peace.